All right, hey, welcome back to the show. We got some few last-minute things to talk about. Uh, yep. First among them is the fact that Street Fighter Four summer costumes came out. Yes. Have you seen these things? Have you heard about <laughs> these things? Have you seen these things? I feel like they've officially gone off the deep end. Like, I'm seriously, oh, some of these costumes are... Some, okay, there's a few of them. I, I was actually surprised. There's a lot of people like, I like this one. I like... So there's a few costumes out there that are pretty good, but then... Which ones are pretty good in your opinion? Um, I really like Oni. Because he's got the devil mask on there. I don't know. I just think that looks really it's cool. It's uneventful to me. It's oh, like almost okay. the same thing already. Yeah. So. But um, I also... I, 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 I think Triton Goken is kind of funny. That one's pretty funny. Um, I don't know. Zangief now just reminds me of Nautilus, you know. Totally. It's awesome. Grabbing with the, the, yeah. the anchor. So I was just like, dude, David's only going to play dude, this. Dude, nobody... <laughs> I, look, I felt kind of sad about this because I, th I thought this pun was amazing. Uh -huh. But I said he looks like Deep Water Horizon Geef, and like nobody, <laughs> nobody got it. I didn't see you say that. Oh my god, nobody I totally missed anything. that. I, I totally like, missed that, guys. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, um, I, Fuerte is actually a decent outfit, but he just looks like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, so it's yeah. nothing great, right? Yeah. So, but um. The, I, th I think the poison one is really nice. It's very mm. well done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They spent a lot of time on it, clearly. The tattoo looks nice. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. She has the whole dress on that looks nice. <laughs> Outside of poison, like all the female... Well, okay, Sakura looks okay. I, I like that one because I feel like that's an actual human costume. Right. Like uh -huh. a person would wear right. uh -huh, uh -huh. during the and, summer. It's and the only one. <laughs> to be honest with you, like since the winter coat cami, this is the only cami costume that I'm actually like okay with. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so cuz she just looks normal. It's like not some cat suit, dude. I no bison outfit. I was just like, what the hell? So, but I mean, honestly, like Viper and Chun Li Garbage. and Jury, like, what the heck is Jury's? Is no, I don't think quite as bad as oh those yeah, two. yeah yeah Chun Li and those Viper are just are, horrible. I don't know what they're doing. Absolutely, just not. There's doing. no redeeming qualities. <laughs> the Chun Li one, I don't even get. What were they trying to go for? I couldn't even tell you. With, with either one of those, yeah, I couldn't yeah, even tell you. Uh -huh, like uh -huh. at least with other ones that some people have. So I, I think that the Seth one is funny, right? He's like a mm -hmm, snorkeler mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't really make sense because he has he's like a robot. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. But at the same time, it's like you know what they're going for. Right. Maybe it's not uh -huh, the best uh -huh, choice, uh -huh, but it's like uh -huh. a real thing that people do during the summer. But <laughs> Viper and Chun-Li just like decided to wrap themselves in these miscellaneous wrappings. Dude, but I, not all the way because there's like her like upper thighs are exposed for whatever reason. Yeah, it's like exactly. Totally so. off the wall bizarre. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're thinking with some of these, but yeah. Uh, so. I thought that the Rufus one was hilarious. Yeah, the he, Rufus one was. He has, he has the, uh, the little floaty on. Right, right, right. That uh, was pretty funny. Um, I thought that the Makoto one was pretty cool. Dude, Hakan's like non existent. That sucks. Dude, DJ, I. DJ, they straight up gave that dude watermelon shorts. Do you see his shorts? Dude, yeah. They look like watermelons. I know. It's like I said, DJ, I, I tweeted this, but DJ's costumes are all proof that racism will never die. <laughs> and, and, and I want to, I want to say it's not just Japanese racism. Okay, this is done by Udon, which is an American deal. <laughs> okay, so it's not like the person making that was like unaware that in the U.S. we have a silly stereotype about right, black right, people right. eating watermelons. Like that person knew, and they gave him watermelon shorts. So what, <laughs> what do you think about hipster Ken? I don't, I don't like Ken's. Um, it's his pants look exactly like Abel's from another alt. It's kind of lazy. I don't Rose understand. Rose looks. She has yeah. no pants on. And it does, looks weird. Yeah. What about Sheriff Hawk? I like Sheriff Hawk. I think that okay. one's cool. Okay. Um, God, what is jury? Like I said, I like the I like the Geef one. I think the Rufus one is amusing, and that's what that character is. So right. I think that right, makes right. sense. Mm -hmm. Vega doesn't even have a costume on. It's just Vega. M Bison looks like he's Rose, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> but it doesn't really make sense. Well, it kind of makes sense, There's I guess. There's hipster Dalsum, wise, too, by the way. Yeah, he has big glasses on. That's yeah, cute. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, in any case. Um, Dan has, like, a kind of uh, waspy outfit on. Yeah. Look at... Will you check out Rolento? And, and let, me, let me know what you think about his skin color here. What, that it's, like, super dark? Do you, well, not just... I mean, on the top, it's dark. But then his legs are his super light. His legs are very light. Yeah. And I was... I, like, is that his skin? Do you think? Do you think the top is his skin? Or is that just a shirt? It looks like a zombie, almost. Right? It's the idea of it, kind of? Because, you know, he has, he has the little uh, earbuds. It's, that could have been cool. <laughs> but it's not. 
Yeah, but anyways, those are coming out pretty soon. I think you can get the whole set for thirty dollars, and each individual five pack I think is five dollars. So. Well, I might actually get the Geef one because I, I do like the Geef one a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I've always been the guy who like tries to get all the costumes to support them, but I really have to think about this one. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll think about this one. <laughs> okay. Um. There's also some news about ESPN. Yes. Uh, apparently, they they had some some coverage of uh, the international, mm-hmm. yeah, the big old Dota tournament that was gigantic, and was a lot of money involved. Uh, ESPN did some coverage of that, mm-hmm. and apparently, it went really well, better than they expected. Yes. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so, the word is that they are interested in having more of that kind of thing. Yeah, dude, let's let's get them to talk to Evo, man. I mean, seriously, that would be yeah some I, epicness right there. I, I guess, I mean, it's not that big a deal to me. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's really not. And, and you know, look, <laughs> I, the idea of reaching more people sounds mm-hmm. nice. Do I think that whoever's watching ESPN is, like, right. going to be like, oh, Street Fighter, or no, how about this? Oh, Undernight in Birth. <laughs> Has a, or, like, Persona, <laughs> the Ultimax, the Ultimate Ultimax Suplex Hold. Right. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, uh-huh. great. Yep. No. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I still don't know why, like, G4 or whatever, like, didn't just, like, mm. when it was happening, jump on it and be like, okay, let's do this. Like, if I was G4, like, this is what I would do. I would have just showed NLBC Wednesday Night Fights on Wednesday, and then, like, on Thursday, do the edited, highlighted version of it in prime time or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, you know, it's not... I, I don't know if they could have gotten the Capcom approval. Yeah, I guess some, that's, you true, have to, that's true. The kind of fancier, more money involved that you, you mm-hmm, get, mm-hmm. the more certainty you need about the legality <laughs> of your situation. <laughs> so, Fair enough. Fair enough. But even, yeah. but even that said, yeah, I don't think that they yeah. were making any overtures. Right, I think right, that, right, that was a pretty right, poorly run channel, mm-hmm. so... But we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's it'll be interesting to see if fighting games get any play on ESPN. But, you know, right now, I wouldn't be holding my breath. I feel like it's going to start with League of Legends, Dota, yeah. and stuff like that first. Th- so. Haven't they had, like, I want to say they had, like, DOA on there or something. Maybe, maybe it was another channel. But there was mm-hmm. something on TV that was with, like, World Cyber Games or oh, yeah, 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 one yeah. of those okay, monstrosities okay. that happened. Right, and there, right, was, right. there was a fighting game involved. And right, it was right, right. the production was just horrendous, <laughs> it's awful. Hey, look, if fighting game is gonna make it on there, I can almost guarantee that Smash Brothers probably has the best chance ahead of it. It might, it yeah. might. At least <laughs> if people play Smash Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll okay. see how that goes. We should talk about that sometime in the future because oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit worried about the Smash scene. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, so apparently Empire Arcadia is imploding. Yes, uh, this has been happening for a little bit now. It has been, so, yeah. but we've been gone and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, even before Evo, guys like uh, CD Jr. left, uh, Persia left it, uh, yeah. a whole bunch of people were leaving. Yeah. And then on Evo weekend, Sanford Kelly left. Right. And I felt like that just started like this crazy avalanche. He was like the dude. Yeah. At uh-huh. EMP. And so for, for him to leave is a big is a big thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. That uh, CD Jr. leaves EMP and then wins Evo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that crossed my mind. <laughs> it crossed everybody's mind. Cause, uh, I mean, I was hanging out with some people who like may or may not have been EMP at some point. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. On the deal there. And, and Which could be anybody, could because be like everybody has been through EMP, right? Could so, be a million yeah, people. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And they were like, oh yeah, we've seen this before. <laughs> people, people leave EMP and they win. And <laughs> Not that new. Um, um, anyway, so you know, obviously, there's been a lot of controversy with Empire uh, and with Triforce uh, involved in it, um, and uh, you know, especially I, uh, you know, there's been a lot of stuff on Reddit and, uh, and on Gaff and on it, all of the kind of tabloidy sources. Right, 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 and that's where right, I found uh, the story. <laughs> but yeah, look, I'm sure you can forward, and it wasn't there, and it yeah. was on, of course, another website. <laughs> But, um, I mean, the interesting thing is, right after Sanford left, and the, as soon as the weekend ended, Yipes left, and then yeah. Dominion left, and I know Craymore left, like, around that time, or maybe even before then, I, I can't right. remember. Right, But a lot of them left. I don't know, it, did Mewtwo King and Armada leave, or are they still on EMP? I haven't heard that they've left. If okay. they have it, okay. I haven't heard it. Okay. So. 
but yeah, I mean, it's it's really interesting, and I know uh, Triforce has been now focusing a lot of his efforts in a different direction. He's been trying to do more FIFA stuff. Yeah. Uh, I know he did something in Jamaica, I think it was, or something, but... I know on Facebook he had a conversation with himself, but, you know, outside <laughs> of that, uh, I'm not sure what his plans are, if he's still planning to try to do stuff under FGC, or if he's done with that side of it, so... Because I know, um, yeah, so, uh, oh, okay, so some cheese guy says that M2K, Mewtwo King, and Armada are still on Empire until November, technically. Ah. So okay. I guess maybe that's when their contract is up. Although I gotta imagine the contract's been breached already, because I know M2, Mewtwo King has been waiting for money for a while now. So that, yeah, I've I've heard the same thing. Mm -hmm. I've heard the same thing. So so if one side breaches the contract materially, that is to say, significantly enough that like mm -hmm. it's a big deal, mm -hmm. then the other side can you know, you can't have, uphold you, their yeah, yeah you have some recourse, uh, uh. including that you don't have to be bothered with the contract anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, so but yeah, I mean. It's, I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. If it, I want to know where these go. players end up, man. Yeah. these are there are uh -huh. some really good players involved oh, in that. Yeah. Dominion is so good. Yipes is so good. Come on. So obviously Sanford joined the Steam company. Yes. Right. So he's uh, you've probably seen their advertisements on some streams before. They're a vape company, so they've got Sanford Kelly on the team. Uh, I, I would love to see Yipes go back to Broken Tier. I know. I mean, Persia's there already, right? So Persia left yeah. and she joined Broken Tier. So and by the way, is doing an awesome job. I, if you haven't seen the stream that they have been doing the last couple of weeks, it's at twitch.tv slash broken tier. Mm -hmm. And today they had a very interesting round, round a panel, I was going to say round robin, a panel, <laughs> uh, where mm -hmm. they discussed, you know, several issues. And But I think she's she seems like the one running the show there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems she's like, like running the stream, basically, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or at least running the graphics on it and yeah, the stories. Yeah. So. That that's great. I mean, I'm, that that's the perfect kind of situation for her. Yeah, I'm yeah, really absolutely, you. absolutely. So, but yeah, I mean, where's Dominion gonna go? Where's Craymore gonna go? You know, I'm I'm super curious where a lot of these guys are gonna end up. It's gonna be very very interesting to see who they. I mean, there's a lot of good free agents out there. For a while, there wasn't very many. Right. But now, Dominion, Yipes, Snake Eyes, they're all just chilling out there. So, be curious to see. Curious to see, so. Uh, yeah, definitely, but that's that's been a, a big story going on lately. Um, mm -hmm. So another thing, also. So another thing, also from Reddit. Uh, before we finish <laughs> up, so there's this Kappa Cup thing going on, right? <laughs> Look, I'm just going to say one thing. What's that? You fucked up by telling people Apparently. not to vote for you. you. As soon as you did that, I was going to respond to him. I'm like, no, I'm not. Dude, if I say anything, they're going to vote for me. So I'm not saying well, anything. you were right. You were the smart one. <laughs> so so it's, a, it's, a, it's an event. There's not, you know, a bunch of details haven't really been released mm -hmm. for yet. But um, they're, they, they had this, this poll where anybody could vote on the poll. And there were a bunch of players listed on the poll, and you can write in a name as well. And you you had, uh, you know, it's for who you who you want to see at this mm -hmm, Capica, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and you could say something like, "You don't care whether they're there. You need them there. Or you, you really totally don't, don't need them. them. Yeah, you yeah. don't want them uh -huh. there. Mm -hmm. And the, and all kind of variables in between. In between. Mm -hmm. And so the people who won it, let's talk about the top ten here. Snake Eyes won the whole thing <laughs> mm -hmm. with nine thousand and fourteen points. Makes sense. And they have, to, okay. they have, you know, it's interesting. If you're actively against the player showing up there, they actually actually subtract. subtract. Yeah. Um, so Snake it's Eyes actually a cool voting system. I, I actually agree. really like the voting system. Yeah. Absolutely agree with that. So mm -hmm. Snake Eyes mm -hmm. won it. Mike Ross. After that, then Smug, then Combo Fiend, then Rico Suave. Then Sanford Kelly, these Justin Wong, all these names make sense. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, then Aqua Silk, very Aqua Silk, popular guy, very popular yeah, dude. Uh -huh. Same thing with Gutex. Right. And then I got tenth place. <laughs> so what, Jam what James was referring to is that <laughs> I actively said, "Don't vote for me, okay? Because I'm probably not going to do this thing. Uh -huh. uh, I don't like playing in public. It's very embarrassing for me. Uh -huh. I don't really want to have a spotlight on the fact that I can't like control. Right, right. It's not. It's not fun. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I I said that and. Of course, you're thinking in retrospect, <laughs> of course, people took that as, oh, I should vote for David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And apparently that's what happened. Yeah, pretty apparently much. That's what happened, yeah, so. so you're intently. So are you going to honor your position in the Kappa Cup uh, if am, anything happens with this? I Probably not. It's just, <laughs> I just don't really like doing that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not that fun. 
Yeah, I, it's, I, I, mean, it's, I stopped playing in tournaments because I don't like playing right, Battle of right, 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 It's yeah. frustrating. No, because it, especially because both, both, like, I, I know as well, you, we're both competitive people. Yeah. And it's very frustrating to have that kind of a situation it's happen. It's very frustrating. Right? So, yeah. I have no excuse, but except I just don't play anymore. I, I totally understand. So, but but you know, I, it was it's definitely a, a, a cool poll. I agree mm -hmm, with you mm -hmm, on the on mm -hmm. the voting. And then they also mentioned, you know, some other stats. Person with the least points was Glitch, unfortunately. Yeah, I just don't think a lot of people know who he is. Right, I you think know what I mean, right? right? He's, so, a, he's a really good Rufus player. He, oh, he's amazing. And not only that, I mean, I had a super long conversation with him at CEO. Super awesome dude. Like, cool. Seriously, like I, I wish him all the luck out there. So all the best. Most actively against was Filipino champ, <laughs> um, which is interesting because one of the later stats. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, most indifferent, uh, I red man. Mm -hmm. Most wanted was Arturo Sanchez. I think I put him as wanted actually. Okay. Um, okay. Then most wanted badlies was Dominion. Mm -hmm. uh, strangely enough, Dominion did not end up getting in the top ten. So oh. it must have been that, the, that those were not enough votes, or maybe there were some actively against, although I don't know why That's you would really be That's really interesting. Yeah, I know. Why would you vote Dominion. against Dominion? Yeah. Dominion's always been one of my favorite players. Sure. So, but, sure. Yeah. Most uh, needed, Mike Ross. I think that makes a lot of sense. He's a really good player and mm -hmm. a very popular personality. Mm -hmm. so he's got the combination going. Uh, most divisive was the stat you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Filipino champ with the most actively against, but also 162 needs. Mm -hmm. um, so he got a lot of needs and a lot of actively mm -hmm. against. Mm -hmm. uh, least actively against was Snake Eyes. And I think that's why he ended up winning because nobody right. gave him a minus five points. He was yeah. only positive as he kept going. Right. I think I think you're right. And what thirty people out there would? I mean, they just hate Zangief and they hate slow play. You know, probably. you're probably right. It, it says thirty votes. Okay, yeah. yeah, so yeah I was yeah. gonna say there's a point system, but so it's minus it's five 30. for if you're actively against. Right. So that means he lost five. So he lost 150 points total from the 30 votes, which isn't much considering he got 9,000. So right. yeah. yeah, he got over 9,000. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. fact. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see what comes of this thing. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see who. I don't even places. know what's gonna happen. Find out later. <laughs> Not even sure if anything's gonna come over yeah, this. Yeah, you know, so. there's something about it's gonna be fun by like Teespring or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure there'll be more details, and we'll talk about it later when we find out more details. But in yep. the meantime, that's all we really know. Okay, and I guess the last thing we forgot to mention in terms of events that just happened recently. Yeah. Um, San Diego Comic Con Smash Brothers DS tournament, Nintendo. I guess their second sanctioned Smash yeah. Brothers tournament, you know, and run exclusively on the 3DS. Right. Super cool. And they ran it, it awesome. with a tournament format, standard tournament format, double elimination, and they just and they started with free for all with items, but as it started going right. later, they just did one on one, no items. Not only that, but when their stream started the very first thing they did was demo up between two guys and they were playing with no items 1v1 that blew my mind like the very first thing they were doing for that stream i didn't see the start of it only the end yeah so, okay. i saw it right at the beginning and they were it was just wow two guys playing no items that's quite a sign from nintendo right yeah that they're, they, they really are kind of taken to heart how the competitive <laughs> scene does it yep interesting so yeah i'm i'm really curious to see this is why i keep saying like dude i, I joked about this with people at evo it's, it's not even a joke but smash is like the future of the fighting game community right now it feels like to me so you know i'm just get I'm, used to smash that's all i'm saying i'm so. not i'm not sure dude <laughs> i'm not quite oh sure yeah yeah, yeah. It. because because of the smash 4 problem right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well what i'm talking about i guess just briefly is that um Smash, you know, Nintendo's selling a new product. It's Smash Four. They're mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm, pumping mm -hmm. it a lot, of course. Not a lot of people who have played Smash Four mm -hmm. like it that much. Right. It's not like Melee. Okay. It's right. not. It's not like Brawl either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but it's more like Brawl than, than Melee. Melee. Yeah. And it doesn't really have you know. It, there's more landing recovery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ledge game is different. Slower pace. Slower pace. A lot of things that people don't like. So. My my concern is what happens to those players who want to stick with Melee. Mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. Nintendo interested in allowing them to do that? Right. Because keep in mind, Nintendo has the legal right, <laughs> as stupid as this may sound, to shut down tournaments. Just From kind of just yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, shut down uh, tournaments. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, absolutely. That's that's one of their legal rights mm -hmm. with, with respect to copyright. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how Nintendo's going to deal with that. 
are they going to be okay with people st- sticking with Melee mm-hmm. and not picking up Smash 4? Yeah. Or is it going to be Smash 4 or nothing? Or I guess that's, is, that's the same thing. Or are they going to, you know, are basically, they, how is that going to work? Right, right, right. And, and if it doesn't work out well for the community, I, don't, I mean, mm-hmm. are, are, the, are the esports teams going to still be sponsoring? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we can... I, I'm not sure, man. We need to just have an episode where we just talk about Smash. Agreed. For a big... We just need to have. We should invite like some people to do more discussion stuff and just talk we, about the future. We really gotta do that more often. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, let's let's start doing that. I'm, I I really need to get the the stupid studio downstairs set up. I've been totally mm. lazy about that. We talked about it in January. It's already like August. That's right. And uh, I've just been totally slacking on that. So I'll, I'll I'll try to get get to that, especially now that we're in the kind of post evil lull a little bit. Yeah. But um, you know, the interesting thing is one. You know, I keep thinking to myself. You know, uh, again, we could talk about this forever. Let's save yeah, it for we, another yeah, time. Exactly. Let's save right, it for right. another time. But in the meantime, uh, I was, we were both looking for the results, and we yeah. couldn't actually find the results. So I know DHF won it with, uh, Bowser. with Bowser. It was a Bowser-Bowser grand finals. <laughs> yeah, from loser's bracket, too. Larry right. came from loser's bracket, right. and I think he won... I think he won four, uh, six straight. I'm not sure. He won six remember. straight? I don't was, remember now. I, I think was it. I think it was like 3-0 and then 3-1 or something like that. So, yeah. Wow. But yeah, how about that? A Bowser mirror in grand finals. And... Dude, Bowser's drop kick was ridiculous. Dude. Like he hit people and they just they were gone. Like, that was they so disappeared. Sick I mean, it does look like it's pretty whiff punishable. Yeah, and I, I, I wasn't seeing a lot of people do that, which was interesting. That's like, what I was baited. thinking. Yeah, uh, and I don't really know why. You know, I'm not playing the game. Maybe there's mm-hmm. something about the speed to it right, that they right. can't really do it. But that's how it looked. But yeah, anyway, it was working out great. Bowser looks a lot better. Oh yeah, and you know they've talked about it how much they want to balance the characters in this game. So it's it's again it's an interesting turn on how it's going to be. Also, they did show some Smash Brothers on the Wii uh, d- during the stream. By the way, that game looks so beautiful. Yes. Oh my God, it looks it does. so beautiful. It does. But I noticed some people in the chat they were saying that it did look like there was a little less lag recovery on air oh. attacks. But you know how that always goes with people watching on streams and stuff like that. We need someone like, like D one or someone who was there, you know, who who can act, who've played both, can actively say that. So yeah, but yeah. I thought it was really cool, by the way, that they that they got uh, Tof and 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 Scar. Yeah, and, yeah. And they had that really cool um, uh, commentator desk. Dude, that thing was sick. But here, but this this cracked me up because it's like so Nintendo to me. Uh-huh. They had this awesome commentary desk and they got two commentators who know exactly what they're talking about uh, it was great and then they put him in like this random spot where like you could see the wires involved <laughs> and there were people walking behind them and uh there wasn't enough room for them to sit next to each other in right. the actual desk it was just like great idea but like the execution of it yeah yeah and it's some and, work. I just that felt very Nintendo. And 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 I felt a little bit good about myself because they had audio problems when they started and so I was like See, like even billion dollar companies yeah. <laughs> have audio problems on their stream. Yeah. I'm not the only one, I swear. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, no, streaming sucks. I've said this yeah, a lot of times. It. It's 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 a pain. This is why Spooky says, "Don't touch my computer." Right? Right. That's yeah. That's why he's just like, "Don't touch the computer," because seriously, like I always make fun of people who think that they can touch something and everything explodes on a computer because people have that fear because of movies and stuff like that. With right. streaming, it's like absolutely true. <laughs> you touch something, it blows up. Yeah. It's done. So yeah. 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 Well, anyway. I wish we could have gotten the full results, but we just couldn't find it. Yeah, but uh, congratulations to Larry. Uh, he yeah. was sporting his CEO t-shirt, too, yeah. while he was there. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Definitely looking for a lot a lot more from that. Mm-hmm. I'm super pumped for those games. They're going to be the reason why I buy both a DS and a Wii U. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. I got to get both of them, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Has dude, to be I'm, done. I'm super hyped for Smash right now. So, yeah. I mean, those streams, they're working on me because I just keep watching them. I'm just like, oh, my me God, too. I need to play Smash so bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see with all these new games coming out. Dude, I even where had a, we end up, man. Yeah, dude, I even had a dream recently that I was using Yoshi and throwing eggs at people with like ridiculous, like Amsa like oh, aim. That's so sick to dude. see. Because that, that was my favorite thing with Yoshi. Honestly, was throwing eggs at people. So yeah. I would always just do that. But dude, I was watching some Amsa highlight videos yeah. when he would like use the tongue grab you while he's trying to get back on, and then throw the egg behind him, and then grab the ledge. That's pretty tough on the old hands. Yeah, for sure, though. Seriously, it was for sure. so beautiful. Oh, sure. my God, it was so good. But, yeah. 
<laughs> we, uh, we good for tonight? Yeah, I think so. We're already cutting into Show That Sucks, which is on twitch.tv slash iplaywinner. Yes, so check that out, guys. Head I'm over sure there. I'm sure they'll be talking about the whole Strong Style thing. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Hanzo Gonzo will be we'll probably trying be to blowing me up or something like trumpeting that. Trumpeting so. whatever yeah, nonsense. Yeah, exactly. So. No, right. but yeah, definitely check that out. There's, I'm sure that'll be a cool conversation. Yep, so. for sure. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.